in this session we are going to learn how can we convert fractions into a decimal format so if the given fraction uh, is already in the format that the denominator is 10 or 100 or 1000 then we just put a dot into the numerator by counting from right to left the numerator of digits equal to the number of zeros in the denominator so this is the easy one for example if we have a fraction 1 divided by 10 so you see the denominator is already 10 so we just simply put a decimal to the left of the numerator and we got the decimal number another example so in all these examples we have the denominator which is already 10 or power of 10 so we only count the number of zeros and then count the number of digits in the numerator and put decimal to the left of those number of digits right but when the denominator of a given fraction is not 10 or power of 10 uh, for example we get fractions like this 1 divided by 2 2 divided by 5 3 divided by 4 etc where the denominator is a number other than 10 or power of 10 then there are two ways to convert them into decimals first is we convert the denominator into 10 or power of 10 and by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by a same number like we did while making equivalent fractions and the second method is long division let's take the first one first and see how can we do that with examples so with the fractions having a denominator other than 10 or power of 10 the first method is we convert their denominator into 10 or 100 or 1000 whatever we can and then write them in decimal format so first example is we have a fraction 1 divided by 2 so we will try to convert the denominator into 10 if we can or 100 or any other figure having zeros so we start multiplying the denominator by different numbers so that we get 10 or 100 in the denominator so we tried it with 2 if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 we see we can't get 10 then we tried with 3 3 times 2 6 we tried with 4 4 times 2 is 8 if we try by 5 5 times 2 is 10 that's what we want so we multiply both the denominator and the numerator by number 5 5 times 2 10 5 times 1 1 so we got a fraction 5 divided by 10 so we got the denominator 10 which is easy to write in the decimal format there is one zero in the denominator so we put a decimal after one digit in the numerator so this is how we can convert a given fraction into a decimal fraction into a decimal number what we did we converted its denominator into 10 let's take another example it will make a bit more clear we have a fraction 2 divided by 5 so what we will try to do is make the denominator 10 or 100 or so so we start multiplying denominator with different numbers and see how can we get 10 or 100 or other number like that so on first try when we tried it by number 2 2 times 5 is 10 so we got it we multiply the denominator and numerator by 2 5 times 2 10 2 times 2 4 so the fraction we got is 4 divided by 10 it's easy to write it into uh, decimal format now there is one zero in the denominator so we put 
decimal after one digit in the numerator. The third example is a bit tricky one, a bit hard one, because this will make a basis of learning another method of converting fractions. You see, we have 3 divided by 4, although it looks a small fraction, easy number, but when we try to convert the denominator into 10 or power of 10, it's quite difficult. We try different numbers. First, we try to multiply the denominator by 2. It is 2 times 4 is 8. It's not 10. When we try the next number, multiply it by 3, it's 12. So it's over 10. Now we have to carry on doing it so that we get 100 or 1000, the denominator. That will take a long time. But after uh, some effort, I found a number 25. So if I multiply the denominator by 25, we get 100. That's what we wanted. We couldn't get 10, but we can get 100 in the denominator by multiplying it by 25. It's a big number. It's hard to uh, memorize tables like this. But just an example, I multiplied the denominator by 25 and I multiplied the numerator by 25. So I got 75 divided by 100, the fraction. So now we can write easily this fraction into decimal format. There are two zeros in the denominator. I counted two digits from right to left. One, two, and put the decimal, the dot, in the numerator. So this is a bit hard one and that's why we are going to learn an other method that is relatively easy when we have fractions like this. And that method is long division method. So we use this method when it is difficult to convert the denominator of a fraction into 10 or power of 10. We use long division method to convert it into decimals. Uh, let's have an example. So our example fraction is 3 divided by 4, which we want to convert into a decimal number. So we saw that its denominator is not 10 or power of 10. And secondly, its denominator is difficult to convert into 10 or power of 10. So that's why we are using the long division method to convert this fraction into a decimal number. So what we did it, we put 3 into the division sign and took 4 outside here. We will divide 3 by 4. So we start looking into the table and we see if 3 falls into the table of 4. As you see, it's 3 is smaller than 4. It's not in the table. So to, to divide 3, we have to put a decimal out here. This is the place which, where we are going to record our answer. And once we put a decimal there, we can add a 0 to this number. Now it is 30, it's bigger than 4, and we can try to divide it by 4. Now look into the table of 4. How many times 4 is 30 or close to 30? So it is 7 times 4, which is 28, which is nearest to the 30 number. So what I did is I wrote this number 7 here and 7 times 4 28 underneath 30 and uh, the remainder of 30 and 28 is 2 so that means we have to make another step to divide it further but we can't divide 2 by 4 we put another 0 because we have already put a decimal here now we can add a 0 as many times as we want it's we put a 0 it's 20 now so how many times 4 is 20 5 times 4 so we put 5 here and 20 here there's no remainder so the answer is 0.75 that means 
that fraction 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0.75 so i hope this makes some sense thank you for watching